I am not taking personal readings at this time. Please do not get scammed by people posing as me in the comments section. Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel Rosology. So today's pick a card we are hearing from the Netter, otherwise known as the goddess Sekhmet, who is an ancient Egyptian deity. So if you are ready to jump straight into the meditation or the piles, head to the description section for the timestamps because I'm going to take a couple of minutes to describe Sekhmet's energy to help develop more of a spiritual understanding and connection to her as well as the reading. So Sekhmet is an ancient Egyptian goddess or indigenous Kamisha Neter that was mainly worshipped as a head deity in the city of Memphis. So the word Neter is equivalent to a personification of the divine since the ancient Kamishans did not believe in multiple deities. They were said to believe in one source creator that was represented with many different faces. And Sekhmet is one of those faces. And the Kamishans that I'm referring to are ancient Egyptians. It's just that Kemet was the original name of Egypt and it meant the black land because when the Nile would flood it would seep into the soil and turn the soil very very dark very black so that is one of their original names the name Egypt actually came from a different city in the ancient times and the Greeks actually ended up after Alexander the Great taking the name Kemet and turning it into Egypt and that is something that we talked about over on Patreon I'm not going to get into that here but like I said the ancient commissions were known to believe in one source creator that was represented with many different faces and Sekhmet is one of those faces now she is said to have the body of a woman with the head of a lioness she was the neater of war and the destroyer of the enemies of the sun god Ray which is why the crown on her head is a solar disc with Uraeus otherwise known as the snake coiled around that sun as a way to say that she is a protector of the sun god or is protected by the sun god so the pharaohs were known to also wear a very similar crown um to the goddess as a way to say that they were protected by Sekhmet and Sekhmet's name stems from the commission word Sekhem which means might the might of god or the might of the sun so while Ray was known as the sun god or the sun disc the sun's intensity was said to come from Sekhmet and the sun was seen as all powerful in Kemet because of how strong and powerful its rays were the fact that it provided warmth food essential resources but could also um, destroy burn and even kill was revered and sacred to them so Sekhmet was also the neater to go to for healing she was associated with medicine plagues fire and disease as well and so you know everything about the ancient commissions all had to do with balance they really worship the concept of Ma'at people think that she's considered a goddess but she was actually a concept for balance harmony justice and truth so Balance was extremely important to the ancient Commissions because like I just said, they understood that even the sun had its own dualities where it was like, you know, it could burn you or it could provide for you. It could kill you or it could keep you alive and help you to survive. So balance was everything to them when it came to living a good quality life. So um, Sekhmet, that's why she had these extreme dualities to her nature as well, um, just like all the rest of the Netsuru did in ancient Kemet. So that's why she also represented healing and medicine as well as plagues and disease. So the reason that she was associated with healing was also because of her consort, which was Ptah, the creator god, and also the nature of healing. Another reason that she was associated with healing was because of her ties to Hathor. Now, Hathor essentially manifested or birthed Sekhmet when Hathor descended to earth to mercilessly punish man. Hathor was said to have transformed into destruction itself aka Sekhmet and as she was destroying mankind she became the eye of Ray or the eye of Ra which was known as the destructive fatal aspect of the sun while Hathor herself represented the life and protection so Sekhmet known as the powerful one when she came to earth she nearly annihilated all of mankind one of the most famous stories of Sekhmet was when she first transformed into the eye of Ra and fiercely swept death and destruction across the earth so much so that it was said that when Ra looked down to see Sekhmet's destruction, the earth was covered in blood and he began to take pity on humans. But Sekhmet, once she gets to that level of rage, she forgets mercy and prefers brutality. One ancient prayer or incantation to her talked about her getting so drunk off the blood of her enemies. So Ra knew that he had to stop her somehow before she destroyed all of mankind. So he devised a plan and had a lot of stained wine poured over the earth to 
to look like blood. And when Sekhmet saw all of this, she assumed it to be blood and went to go drink it. So she became wildly drunk afterwards and transformed back into Hathor, the mother goddess known for her beauty, love, jubilant attitude, and fertility. So Sekhmet is also connected to the Nitra Basset, which is Sekhmet's more flirty, sensual, intimate, fun, gentle, youthful side. Now, I thought it would be incredible if we contacted Sekhmet, the Netter of War, and battle in a reading for her to give us some strength and encouraging messages to get through our toughest battles that we may be facing right now in our life. And the cool thing about her is, yes, her energy is very intense, but that is only when you are on the receiving side of her wrath. Like I was talking about earlier, every single Neturu in ancient Kemet represented some some sort of duality. So if it was like the Netur of life, like um, or the seed of life, like what is set or otherwise known as Isis is known for, uh, then she also represented death to some degree. So every single one of the Neturu had these dual natures to them. And so, um, like I said, she's going to be very intense when it comes to you being on the, the side of her wrath. But as a child of hers, um, all you're going to experience is her Hathor energy, her loving, protective, nourishing mother energy. Now let's just get to the disclaimers and the meditation since I've taken enough time. So obviously this is a general reading meaning that it will resonate with who it is meant to resonate with. Tarot does not control or dictate your life. If you hear something that you do not like and think that you're just doomed to that reality, you're not using my readings correctly. My readings are for confirmation and not answers. So realize that at the end of the day, your free will and what you choose to do with it determines your outcomes, not a pick a card reading on YouTube. So please be responsible, be accountable, and use this as a guide to help decipher the messages that your spiritual team has been trying to send you all along. So let's get to the meditation. For those of you that want to participate in this meditation, let me just say like I always do that this is a general reading for the collective. So in order for this reading to resonate with you, you need to be synced into the energy of this reading. To help you do that and to help you select a pile with your third eye and not your physical ones, I'm going to be offering a 60 second meditation. 30 seconds into that meditation, I'll be placing crystals for my clairvoyance that like to pick piles with objects on them. And after the clairvoyant pile selection there will be a clear audience selection where i play a different tone for each pile and you can select a pile based off of which tone resonates with you the most if you're drawn to another pile that's because there's another message for you in that pile so if you're ready get into a relaxed position become aware of your entire body starting with your feet and working that awareness up in sections from the feet to the head then take a deep breath in through your nose for around five seconds hold that breath for three seconds and then exhale for six to seven seconds then ask your guides spirit ancestors the universe or all of them to connect you to your higher self so you can meet with the great one the mother the netter segment so this is pile number one pile number two pile number three and pile number four and we'll start that meditation right now And pile one is onyx. On pile two is green opal. On pile three is hematite and quartz. And on pile four is still bite, I believe.
All right, hopefully that meditation was enough time for you to pick a pile and tap into your own psychic awareness. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, and beautiful spirit for these messages, as well as the amazing Sekhmet. Now let's see what encouraging messages Sekhmet has for your toughest battles, and I will meet you over at your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. So we are going to be starting off with um, some oracle cards right here before getting to your tarot cards and then pulling, pulling some additional oracle cards on camera to see what the Natura Sekhmet has to say to you today, encouraging words, guidance, advice, whatever it is that you may be in need of. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the very first card that came out for you is discernment. Um, this is kind of coming across as a question of as to what you may be ignoring, Pile One. Um, I don't know why. That and then underneath the deck, yeah, we've got truth here. So this is coming across as like a question. Um, as far as like, are you ignoring any sort of feelings that you get, any sort of sensations, any sort of signs or like red flags, anything like that? Um, your dreams, you may be ignoring a lot of your intuitive guidance and the voice that kind of speaks to you and, and nudges you in one direction or the other. And so this is more so coming through as a question um, with segment here, as far as like, what are you ignoring that this higher power has been trying to get you to see or has been trying to get you to acknowledge and i think that that's something that's that's going to possibly be a, a theme in your reading in your pile today um it has to do with your discernment because for this card to come out i feel like you guys have very good intuitive deep discernment you just ignore it a lot a lot of the times when it comes to your hopes i think you guys are very hopeful and you hoping that someone is a good person you hoping that something is going to turn out in a certain way you hoping this and hoping that it gets in the way of your intuitive voice and your intuitive guidance and so i feel like that's something that she just kind of wants to highlight and it's somehow going to be woven into your pile for today i can definitely feel it especially with truth being underneath the deck so it's like you might know some sort of truth that you try to push off um in the hopes of it turning out in a different direction or a different way so uh, let's just start taking a look at you guys' tarot card. So this tarot card on the left will be showing me what it is that you are currently going through that Sekhmet is witnessing um, you deal with right now. And then the card on the right will be showing me the messages, the encouraging guidance that she has for you. So let's get started with the card on the left here. And we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So it's very interesting that we have the um, Seven of Cups in reverse for you and the card of discernment came out because Seven of Cups talks about illusion. Seven of Cups talks about um, somebody being presented with seven different options and all these options look the exact same. And this person, this character does not find out if this option was good or bad until after the fact, until after they drink from this cup. So I find it very, very interesting that your your first card to kick off your reading and your pile is the card of discernment. And then we're getting the seven of cups in reverse. So um yeah, you know, Seven of Cups upright, it talks about options coming into a plethora of choices, but there is a lot of illusion also involved involved with the Seven of Cups that I don't personally think gets highlighted enough. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of options here, but you don't know what the substance of those options are, like I said, until after you drink from the cup. So the Seven of Cups talks about not knowing the outcome of a decision until after it has been made. With your Seven of Cups showing up in reverse, this is almost like excuse the example here but this is almost like you regurgitating oh god this is like such a horrible like just a very <laughs> gross example but it's almost like you regurgitating or throwing back up these cups that you drank before and you realize later on that those cups were poisonous or toxic and now that you are trying to purge it from your system um that that's like where you are in the process so this is what the netter segment is witnessing you do in your life she's watching you right now rid yourself and your body of any toxicity she's been watching you regurgitate destructive relationships 
beliefs, patterns, thought cycles, mentalities, beliefs, communication styles, people, and habits. For some of you, though, the challenge here is, like I said, the Seven of Cups represents options. Then the reversal of this card represents the loss of those options. So some of you made the decision to purge yourself, and others of you, this was almost forced, like you didn't have a choice. Something got so... And even though you're purging this from your system, there's something about even the process of this being removed from your life and, and you where it's like you have to come into contact with this venom again when it's purged, when it's coming out of your body, right? So it's like, or when you are releasing it from your life, when you are saying goodbye to it, it's like that one last contact with this toxicity. And that's what she's watching my pile one struggle with right now is you feeling like I let this go on for too long or I should have done this sooner or why did I give this or them another chance? I should have known better the feeling here is fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me she's watching you like this protective mother though like a mom that tells her kid not to eat too much candy because it'll make you sick but they don't listen and they end up having a really bad stomach ache and all you can do is comfort them until the pain subsides and that's what she's watching right now and she's coming with the message that pile one you're feeling the sting right now but the word for you is subsiding just like a wave moving back out into the ocean you're over the hard part where it's like the pain hasn't hit yet it's hit already and at this point it's on its way back out and she's extremely close to my pile ones right now or whenever you personally come to see this video and hear this message just know that she's very very close to you and there's another thing here too where she's saying she can't reduce the pain of this because the pain is what has to show you or teach you so you never interact with this harmful person or substance or lifestyle ever again there is something to be learned here this is why the card of discernment came out for you and truth underneath the deck so this is something that it's a very painful lesson but it is one that she cannot interfere with she cannot interfere with this because she does not want you to ever have to go through this again and if she interferes if she steps in the way if she tries to take any of this on for you you will have to go through it again and that's something that you know she she doesn't want you to have to to deal with ever again so let's check out what her encouraging message is for you and we have here the Four of Swords in reverse. So you once had all these ideas or strategies for how to beat, protect, or defend yourself from this type of pain or toxic or toxicity you thought if I do this I'll never have to worry about that or as long as I have this I'm safe from that as long as I do it this way or date this type of person or work in this field or look that way I'm fine the way you approached life pile one was very black and white the encouraging message here for you is mentally you may want to withdraw or retreat because this has been a tiring process for you and you may think it is easier to stop in the middle of it because where you are at in the process right now pile one is it looks like things may be getting worse but they are doing the exact opposite you may feel like you are suffering but you are healing you may think that you are losing but you are winning you may think you failed but you've already won when we deal with swords we are dealing with the truth which is double-edged meaning things can look one way but it does not negate how things in actuality are turning out. For example, let's say that you left your partner because you realized that the relationship was taking a negative toll on you. At the time of this reading or whenever you see this, you are at a point where you are wondering if you made the right decision by walking away. You are wondering how and why me choosing to do the right thing has led to my life feeling more difficult. It's important for you to continue releasing whatever you think is toxic in your life because there is a huge illusion effect happening in your world right now hence the discernment card and the seven of cups right here even the four of swords a lot of this has to do with being smack dab in the middle of transition where it is hard hard to see a way out either which way you can't see where you came from at this point and you can't see where you are going at, at the point that you are currently at right now which is why Sekhmet is here to tell you today pile one do not stop continue releasing any and all destructive patterns mentalities habits beliefs self-talk people relationships environments release whatever you can from your system that is not only not serving you because it's not the deal with you guys my pile ones you guys got rid of things and people not serving you some time ago this is the poison in your life that has been attacking you and 
poisoning you in a way. You're right at the doorway of transformation pile one. And this is for those of you that understood in order for me to change my life, I have to change me. You are in the middle of that process right now. So do not give up and do not give in. Very, very important for you. Let's see what protection she has around you. Since we know that Sekhmet, she is, she is the very, very protective mother. Very, very protective. Let me see if both of these are your cards. Give me a second. Okay, I don't know why this came out as well. I'm going to keep this out for you because I'm not sure why it, it was like it wanted me to see it. So, oh yeah, and then underneath the deck. Okay, so anyway, so these are your cards. So we have here emerald dragon and it says brings in healing and cosmic abundance good fortune is coming let your thoughts support your divine perfection align with your fifth dimensional blueprint exactly exactly then we have here rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors have trust rediscover wisdom expect miracles and accept opportunities it says have trust just like i think what was that truth was underneath the deck yeah so this is all about you guys so truth i guess can also be translated as you trusting trusting and um like i said the point that you guys are at you can't see where you came from and you can't see where you're going nothing's really clear right now a huge illusionary effects are hap happening for you right now in your life at this moment that is what Sekhmet is witnessing that is what she wants to um convey to you is like i do see this happening in your life but the message here the protection the type of protection that she's put around you is telling you to have trust accept opportunities rediscover uh, rediscover wisdom and expect miracles just like it says over here that good fortune is coming let your thoughts support your divine perfection and then we have here gold and silver violet flame dragon transmutes the old around you with wisdom and grace it is time for transmutation magic and healing offer service under grace this is the type of protection that is around you right now and then we have here blue dragon from the pleiades prepares you to accept source healing accept a heart activation give and receive heart healing yeah so um she the type of protective energy that she has put around you guys is all about um it's all about faith she has put a protective energy around you or entity around you where it's keeping your faith from dying it's keeping you from giving up it is keeping you hopeful it's keeping you motivated and it's it's this protective energy is able to keep you in the space where it's like i know something good is coming my pile ones if you guys have been feeling like even though my life seems a little shaky a little uncertain right now but you still feel somewhere deep down in your spirit like but i know this is going to work out it might be the smallest little feeling but if you have felt that this is confirmation right here that you are dead on about what's coming to you about your fortune changing good fortune coming in divine perfection aligning with your fifth dimensional blueprint having trust expecting miracles accepting opportunities and transmuting the old that is around you that's what i was saying to you guys you guys are in a, a a process of transition you guys are the ones that are changing it might look like your life around you is changing and it is but you guys are changing as well let's see let's get two more cards here two cards just from your angels okay we have here gentleness and it says archangel sandalphon be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environment yeah yeah exactly um that's important for you guys because being around harsh conditions right now is not going to be helpful at all in the grand scheme of things it's not going to be helpful you guys are already in a state where it's just like i don't really know what's going to happen i don't really know what to trust and then we have here nurture and then it says archangel gabriel as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now so whatever may be going on in your life may also be triggering some sort of inner child healing i think we did have healing somewhere yes prepares you to accept 
source healing. And if you guys, my pile ones are close to the Pleiades. If you have ever received any sort of messages from uh, Pleiades beings, Pleiades star system, or like extraterrestrials, anything like that. I know that sounds really like a little odd, but, <laughs> but for my pile ones, this is going to feel more dead on for those of you um, that have intuitively picked pile one because it'll resonate a little bit more with you. So some of my pile ones, you guys have been uh, contacted by, I guess what you would call an alien or, you know, some other sort of supernatural source um but you guys my pile ones have actually been in contact with aliens extraterrestrials whatever you want to call it for this card to come out blue dragon from the pleiades this means that you guys are very um it's weird too because i saw the color blue for you guys before i started your reading i just didn't know what it had to do with anything so i didn't mention it but then we have here the blue dragon from the pleiades and something about this dragon in particular is really standing out for me um in terms of just I don't know i i feel like i just feel like there's somebody from that star system some sort of energy or presence from that star system that may also be uh very in tune to your energy right now as well in your life and then underneath the deck here we have moon cycles notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles yeah so my pile ones you guys are just tuned into the stars anyway you may love astrology you may be an astrologer yourself you guys are just kind of tuned in to the stars anyway and this is probably another reason why you've had some beings from the pleiades come to you in your sleep come to you in your dreams some of you may have had out-of-body experiences talking to these beings not ne not necessarily knowing exactly what they were but just knowing like they're not human but she just may not have known what they were so very very interesting kyle Wen. let's get a final message here from the mother of set and i know we've been hearing from her a little frequently lately <laughs> but i feel like I don't well I don't have any oracle cards dedicated to Sekhmet so I figured you know next best thing would be a set so let's see okay and we have here divine sun child blessings of the sun falcon I told you guys you're in for good. You're just heading right towards it. This is blessings of the sun falcon. The sun falcon, um, he was known as Hor. You may know him as Haru or Horus. Uh, this is the child of Aset. And he was the one that helped restore Ma'at or balance to the world after his father was killed by his uncle Set. And Set even tried to kill Hor um, or Horus you may know him as. But yeah, so I'm going to read this out of the book. There's two other cards here that also flipped over. And it says here, Pillar of Light, Descent of the Star of Isis. That's interesting, Descent of the Star of Isis. And I kept talking about the Pleiades, something really sticking out with that. Then we have here, Soul Retrieval, Deep Soul Healing with the Goddess. So I'm not going to read these two out of the book, but I am going to read this Divine Sun Child one for you guys. And then underneath the deck for you, we have Initiation, Spiritual Testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. So this is also a test that you guys are going through. And I know some people don't like tests, but I mean, that's just what life is. It's a big ass lesson. We're constantly being tested, <laughs> whether we want, whether we like it or not, doesn't really matter. So let's see. And what it says here for divine sun child is it says blessings of the sun falcon, the divine sun child, Horus, son of Isis and Osiris, flow to you now, beloved initiate. It is time to allow your life to flourish without limits, to let your light burn bright and without veil, just like the midsummer sun burning without contest in the Egyptian desert. Blessings of the sun falcon herald the time when your divine legacy is being born. Oh my God. Your divine legacy is being born, pile one? Wait, hold on. Didn't we have kind of something like align with your fifth dimensional blueprint? Oh, okay. So this is just, this is bigger than you, what you're going through. And then it says here, it is your time to burn bright. And it says divine sun child. And it's talking about legacy. Some of you guys are destined to pass something down. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, it's not the final destination. This is not the end all be all. You guys have a lot more to do, but what you're actually setting up right now is your legacy and some sort of legacy that your descendants are going to be able to, um, 
learn from or capitalize from. Pile one, what you're actually going through right now, the reason why you're being pushed so hard to not give up because this is bigger than you. And I feel as though some of you guys, um, this is all also about your children or your future, future children or like their children, their grandchildren, like your future descendants. And so, you know, obviously that would be for those of you that uh, want to have children, even if you don't want to have kids, you have people related to you that are going to have kids and these are going to be considered your descendants down the line they're gonna share your blood so you know that's just um what I'm picking up here so like I said this is bigger than you pile one do not stop do not give in and this is the encouraging message that Sekhmet has for you guys today pile one thank you so very much for tuning in let me take this time to thank your guys my guys our higher self amazing spirit for these messages hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon and until next time stay safe healthy blessed and keep conquering the world bye you guys All right, pile number two, welcome to your reading. So we are starting off with some oracle cards right here, uh, just to see what sort of energy is surrounding your reading. Then I'm going to be analyzing your tarot cards and then afterwards pulling some additional oracle cards on camera to see what encouraging messages, advice, or guidance and love that the Netter segment wants to pass on to my pile two today. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first card that we have for you is anger. The interesting thing is, is that I'm picking up is that this is more frustration being masked by anger. But this is just more so frustration. Um, and underneath the deck we have here ancient wisdom. With this anger here, it's funny because... I feel as though this is something that's like outside of your control... I feel as though this is something where it's like if it was up to me, things would just be running smoothly. Um, you know, because like bees are very interesting characters. They don't mess with you unless you mess with them and or you mess with their their home. So they're protective in that way. But other than that, bees really kind of just mind their own business. And so I feel like you guys have been in a space where it's like you've been minding your own business and something has been poking at you or triggering you or coming at you you know it's like something's been disturbing your peace there we go that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to say it's like something has been disturbing your peace and you've just been not doing anything it's like you just been this like model citizen or friend or worker or whatever it may be where you're facing this challenge at it's like you've just been this model person and for something to find an issue with you it's like it's something that is it's very difficult for you to conceptualize and understand and so that's why i'm picking up more frustration than anything because it's like it's not something on your end that you're doing that's causing these sort of issues or that's causing these sort of problems or that's causing this sort of like um conflict you know it's like it's not you and that's what i'm picking up the frustration from you know it's like this is not your fault this is not something that you started it's not something that's in your control it's not something that's in your control so you know what let's actually just get to your tarot cards here so this card on the left will be showing me what challenges that you are facing right now that Sekhmet is witnessing in your life and this card on the right will be showing me the encouraging messages that she has for you so let's get started with this card on the left and we have here the king of pentacles in reverse hmm. this is interesting pile two i don't know why but I got the sensation the moment that I uh, picked up your card of someone here losing the ability to control their body or losing control over a certain body part. This could have been maybe like losing feeling in that area, losing feeling with a certain body part. Very strange feeling I got that's probably for only one person here, but it was very strong. Um, and this is the King of Pentacles, and the Suit of Pentacles does talk about the physical, tangible realm. So some of my pile twos, your body may be going through some really serious changes or even challenges right now. Because I'm also picking up um, someone experiencing the loss of security, the loss of possibly your home or your safe place. I just heard someone's insurance coverage changed 
too. So now your medical needs aren't as covered as before. So it's like someone's help has been taken away. And if this isn't help or support, then it's what you depend on when it came to taking care of the essentials and it is affecting your welfare and your ability to take care of yourself. The issue here is there's no one that can help and the people that make certain decisions that directly affect you, you don't have access to them. That's why the anger card came out because that's what I was picking up is like there's just a frustration here. Like this shouldn't be happening. How is this okay? You're at the mercy of someone or something else pile too, and you are at the end of your rope. You feel like you are at your wit's end. You just don't know what to do because you depend on this. And it's not like you want to have to depend on something or someone else, but that's the situation that you are in. And it has left you feeling like, well, what do I do? What can I do? Who do I talk to? Or like, this feeling of no one can help, no one cares, no one sees me, I'm just a number or a statistic. I can hear this voice saying that they can't get away with this, which I feel like is your voice saying like they can't get away with this, this is not okay. But the interesting thing is I can hear a different voice respond to yours that's saying, but they won't get away with this. And that it's, it's almost like a, um, that's almost a bit scary. You know what, this anger card right here, this might actually be Sekhmet's energy for you. She might be angry for you, just like a bee ready to attack because someone's messing with my home space. Someone's met, someone's fu trying to fuck with my peace. And her seeing that happen to one of her children, Sekhmet, she's, she's scary when she gets to that level of intensity. So there's no stopping her or consoling her. There is no, you know how like in the strength card, that lady is sort of subduing that lion. There is no subduing Sekhmet. She's not your average lion. Um, so this actually anger card right here might be Sekhmet's energy for you, how she's feeling for you. She may be directing her anger at someone else for you that has messed with your peace. They've kind of messed with um, your ability to take care of yourself because that just keeps coming up. Your ability to take care of yourself. I don't know. Uh, let's see what encouraging message she has for you. And we look, we've got the King of Cups. We've got the King of Cups. So wait, we have the, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the King of Cups upright. Wow. Okay. So this, this anger card is Sekhmet's card actually. Wow. Okay. So your challenge, she's fighting fire with fire. Your challenge here is the King of Pentacles in reverse. And Sekhmet is coming to you as the King of Cups upright. Pile two, you have not been forgotten or overlooked or abandoned, especially not in the spiritual realm. And especially not when it comes to Sekhmet. She, the visual, the visual that she is giving me here is just like this King uh, pouring out this water. This water is doing two different things for you. This water is healing. It's supportive. It's nurturing and even nourishing before this challenge over here this king of pentacles what he is the or this king of cups what he is doing to this king of pentacles right here is he's drowning him so for the challenge here this king of cups this water is drowning your challenge and it's a slow torturous process for this king of pentacles challenging energy here so she is turning the challenge in on itself whatever has abandoned you in your time of need is going to be abandoned whatever has left you to fend for yourself is being left defenseless the wrong decisions that were made that affected you are being righted and so it will take a little bit of time to get back to you but it won't take long for this problem to be neutralized in a way where your rights come into play like it could get that serious that especially if this is something Thing going on where it's like some higher up is making some sort of decision that's affecting hundreds or thousands of people then this is something where it's like someone's literal rights come into play like this is like the justice system possibly getting involved if it has something to do along those lines and so you know um someone else with just as much pull or power comes in to defend your rights so if this was something like your ins insurance going back to that example that's going to get reinstated so you can get the help and the assistance that you deserve um or no that wasn't an example that was what i heard for someone here so like i said if something like that is happening your re your insurance gets reinstated so you can get the assistance that you need but very clearly something is wrong with this king of pentacles in reverse he's into some 
dirty business dealings or he is unethical something is up here and this actually ends up helping you in a sense where your rights or assistance comes back in a full swing so Sekhmet is coming with the message that she is sending someone to you of equal power and influence in comparison to this king of pentacles except this person this king of cups will be irreproachable this will be an influential person that is virtuous, commendable, and actually cares about the people that have been wronged or are suffering behind this decision or this corruption. Something about him feels corrupt, this King of Pentacles in reverse, and I have no idea what it is. But there is someone out there that does not see you as a, as a statistic, as though this is something that just happened to you and you got like the bad end of the stick. This person cares about getting people the help and the assistance that they deserve and, and the justice that they deserve. So this help is coming piled to. This could be a lawyer or a government official, a doctor, an investigator. I'm not sure, but this person has heard your story before and you may not ever meet this person face to face, but they're still fighting for your rights. Um, For some of you guys, I don't know why this is coming in. Um, but for some of you guys, there could have been some sort of wrong that was done to your family where maybe someone got off the hook or they didn't get as much time. They really didn't get in as much trouble. This is somebody coming in to, to help get justice, to get the justice that you or your family member deserves or the person that you care about deserves. This is just some sort of wrongdoing that happened here. This King of Pentacles in reverse is just giving me the, the horrible vibes like something that's wrong was done here. And it was unethical, it was unjust, it was a violation, it's just really bad. And you, you've you been trying to get help and it's like you can't find any. You know, it's like everywhere you go, it's like no one can help. Well, that's when you deal with the tangible physical realm, right? But there's something on the spiritual realm, segment on the spiritual realm that says, I got you, we're gonna figure this out. I'm going to send you the right help. I'm going to send you the right people. I'm going to send you people to you that have the same energy that I do, that has this anger in them, this fury in them that wants to get justice. That I'm going to send you people that are just as disturbed and disgusted by the fact that something like this has happened and they're going to fight with just as much anger in them as you have in you for this happening and that's what i see her sending so the anger that's surrounding your reading is it's it's weird it's like it never felt like a bad thing <laughs> honestly the anger feels justified is what i mean it feels justified and she's aware of that she's very aware of that so she's sending you she sent Okay, she's sending you definitely, she's sending you a fighter. So we have here, we've got Earth Dragon. Look at this, look at this. It says, clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing. You can move forward in life. This is what I'm talking about. It's like there's no one that can help, right? Then all of a sudden somebody comes into your frame where it's like, oh, I can help. Act matters of fact, I'm coming for them. You know, whoever this person is, and it feels more like it, it deal is dealing with the, the, le the courts or the justice system, the legal system, it feels something like that. Then we have here, because this is the protective energy that she's placing around you guys. And we have here earth and air dragon. And it says represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your visions, manifest your hopes and dreams. So you guys can even work on manifesting how you want this to turn out. Let me get two more cards for you guys, just to see the protective energy around you. I love dragon imagery because I dream of them quite a bit and they're all they're always there to protect me I, I don't think I've ever had a dream of an animal that was trying to harm me it's very very interesting oh okay so then we have here a golden Atlantean dragon you guys may have some sort of ties to um, Atlantis and it says here helps you remember the wisdom of golden atlantis awaken bring back your knowledge gifts and talents reclaim your mastery this is about you guys being able to put this behind you so you can get back to your purpose or so that you can get back on track when it comes to your purpose and the reason why you're here in the first place because this has gotten in the way of your welfare like i was saying and anytime we cannot take care of ourselves physically how do we have time to get spiritual how do we have time to meditate and to work on ourselves we don't we're trying to survive and this is why this has pissed off segment so much because it's like you can't even you can't even get your time to to you you can't 
spend time connecting to your ancestors, your spiritual team, your angels, your guides, to her, to God, to this higher power, to the universe, because you're you're worried about surviving. And this is what has seriously pissed her off. And this is why she's sending someone with fury inside of them, just like what she has for you, because she's very upset for you. And so uh, we also have here a crystal yellow dragon opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path okay so this is her saying she doesn't want you angry she'll handle the anger for you she doesn't want you because she doesn't want you stressing behind this she's like i'll be angry for you i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring people in. i'm gonna bring warriors in that are going to fight for you and be angry for you so you don't have to take on this stress but she's really trying to come and alleviate the stress that you have, the worry that you have, the fear and the anxieties that you have when it comes to surviving because you've hit this horrible, um, almost like speed bump in the road and it's just really gotten in the way for you. And then underneath the deck here, we have Lil Lilac Fire Dragon. It says, transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Beautiful. Let me get two more cards here from your angels just to see what messages they have for you and so this says brilliant idea archangel uriel yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruition whatever you guys have been wanting to do have been um thinking about doing this is about uh taking that first step to put that plan into action to put that idea into action Okay, and then we have here, um, outdoors, Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So I was talking about relieving stress, how Segment wants to relieve you of a lot of the stress that you're dealing with. And then it also talks about creative ideas and we got the brilliant idea card for you. So this is definitely about you guys um, getting back to what you're able to do. Like I said, that's what's pissing her off the most. That's what's really upsetting Sekhmet the most is it's like this issue has gotten in the way of you guys being able to dedicate time to your ideas and your projects and your goals and your desires and your dreams. And that's what's that's what's really got her fired up then we have here underneath the deck hello from heaven archangel azriel your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings that is just confirmation that your ancestors are totally involved in this and that they are also probably um somehow helping Sekhmet and helping you through this issue helping you through this situation a lot of the times our ancestors, they almost act as, as like spiritual antennas for us, where they are able to be like a mouthpiece on the other side for us because they're very connected to us and they're very connected to the human experience because they were once humans. And so sometimes the ancestors can act in a way where they will take certain information back to the spiritual realm. And it's not as though the spiritual realm isn't privy to what's going on. It is. But sometimes our ancestors will help take information back to the spiritual realm and they will enlist more help on that side uh, for us over here on this side of things. And so the, oh, look at this, abundance of Sotis, stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abundance. Um, so this is telling me with the Sotis card right here. Sotis is the star Sirius. And so basically uh, we just had the Lionsgate portal 8-8 august 8th a few days ago and so um this lets me know that that portal changed a lot for you guys it changed around your fortune for sure it changed the energy around your fortune for sure and underneath the deck here we have initiation spiritual testing of Ra and the lady is set so this is also a spiritual test for you guys but i'm going to actually read this card out of the book so give me a second okay and it says here abundance in many forms is flowing to you now beloved intend right now to receive it just decide to do so in your heart this very moment the oracle of the abundance of sotis comes as guidance to expect increased flow and to continue your good works of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you freely share your talents love wisdom and self and enjoy the abundance responsively flowing to you in many forms over and over again so this is this is what she wants you to focus on she just wants you to focus on the good that's coming into your life and she wants you to leave all the fighting and the anger and the and the messiness that this can get to she wants you to leave that for her 
because that's literally what she's built for. She is built to handle these really tough battles and these really tough wars. And she's she's built for this so we don't have to accumulate any sort of bad or negative or, or heavy karma because we had to get involved in these sort of fights. She wants to do all this for you. What she wants you to do is relieve your stress, get back to focusing on your purpose, get back to focusing on your ideas and your projects and your health and your happiness. Most importantly, that's what she really wants for you guys and your healing as well. Um, and yeah, this is the encouraging message that segment has for my pile twos. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye guys. <laughs>
is it is your environment there's too much like almost shade around you and you need more exposure to the light the sun is not biased it doesn't only shine on one flower and not and not the others so it's not that the light can't reach you or find you you just simply need a change of environment just like how we take plants we depot them and put them somewhere else depending on what they need if their leaves are starting to wilt or if their roots look sickly then that's a sure sign that this plant is not getting what it needs in this environment this environment is not suitable enough it might be be perfect for another plant but not this particular one you are like a plant in this reading at least your energy is and your body or your intuition has been telling you what it needs but somehow you've been overlooking that you haven't heard it or you've been a bit hard-headed and heeding the advice so very simply pile three segment has been watching you struggle with where you are at and she knows as well as you do that it's your that it's your surroundings it's not you and so this may be why the retreat card came up for you guys because it's like you may feel like like you want to retreat you may know that you need to retreat you may know that you need to maybe step back or look in a different direction or look at another avenue or look at another possibility but it's like there's something about this retreat card that's like a struggle it's like you guys don't want to that's what i'm picking up the most um like i said some of you guys you may want to retreat you may be leaning more towards of like kind of getting out of dodge but for the most part this feels more reluctant like reluctancy to retreat to walk away. it's like you don't want to and so and so okay okay i'm getting it so that's why it's like you guys are struggling a little bit with having to find a new home you know that's why you guys are struggling a little not literally but it's like you're struggling to find a new place to catch the sunlight like you want to catch the sunlight where you're at right now and it's like you are in this this tug of war between yourself and the universe between yourself and fate where it's like but I don't want to go over there. And the universe is tugging back and is saying, but you have to. This is the only way that you can get this. You have to move. You have to go over here. You have to do things different. You have to retreat. You have to detach. You have to do something that you are not willing or wanting to do right now at this moment. And so it's like this tug of war back and forth between you and, and the universe is what I'm really picking up. So let's see what her encouraging message is for you, pile three. And so we have here look how beautiful the nine of pentacles this is what it this is what is waiting for you this is what is waiting for you pile three so i may be dealing with a few hard-headed people here in pile three where you're just like i don't want to do it that way or i don't want to have to do it over there you know and it's like there's something that you kind of have to do that you're not wanting or willing or ready to do right now and honestly i don't think you should force yourself um so with this nine of pentacles here when this is this is the difference though in terms of environment pile three is when you have quality people relationships habits even food it shows it shows everywhere you know and it's crazy how a lot of the times we can pinpoint exactly what is the problem or what is making us sick or what is making us not feel good or what is what is impeding our quality of life and at the same time we're not willing to let go of it it's like we're holding on for dear life, you know, and so it's like th that bear hold that we have on something that is causing us a lot of stress and pain or just negativity in general. And so you have to be a little bit more um, compliant when it comes to releasing, surrendering, letting go and allowing. Um, and this is what the retreat is. The retreat is telling you, like, stop pushing, stop trying. Um, so like I was saying, when you have good quality things around you, people, food, your diet, your relationships, even rest, you know, it just, it shows. And this is because we are what we eat and you've been consuming an environment that is not beneficial for you. Pile three, it cannot help you grow. It can only deplete you. Like I said, you keep coming to me as a flower, a flower that, that needs to be like dug up and put in a different area because it's like what you're getting here is not good for you it's not helpful for you you've been wondering why the sunlight or good fortune good luck predicaments destiny or serendipity has not hit you yet and the message here is look to your physical environment with this nine of pentacles look to your relationships look to your diet look to how many hours of sleep that you get look at the job and the type of job that you have look at the type of money that you make how you make ends meet look to how you spend your free time and look to how you are spending your time 
doing these things that we're supposed to do, um, especially when it comes to how you make money uh, with this nine of pentacles right here. For some of you, it's your job that you're you're not willing to leave or you're too, you know, you're too frightened and scared to leave because it's like, well, I don't know how I'm going to make ends meet, which is an understandable fear, you know? And so there's something here where I said it's like this tug of war that's happening between you and the universe and the universe is like just trust me and you're like I can't <laughs> so it's like it's like this going back and forth a big message here with this nine of pentacles is how you're making your money how you're making ends meet the trade-off for it isn't worth it something about it that may be causing you stress or harm is it's not good for you um your job may be too stressful it may be too demanding it may need to be something that takes more of a backseat in your life, especially if you're a workaholic. Um, let me also say for you, Pile 3, that Sekhmet is here saying that meditation will change your life. Pile 3, meditation will change everything for you. It'll be a lot easier to feel the sunlight and to trust yourself and your body when you get the feeling that, hey, I need to move over here or try this over there because I need more nutrients. I need more support. I'm not getting what I need right here. It will give you a lot more trust and being able to make certain moves and certain decisions um without having to deal with the worry and the anxiety of well how am i going to do this if i do make this move or if i do walk away from this or if i retreat from that how am i going to be able to take care of this and that and x y and z meditation is is she's saying she's bringing up something about meditation for you sometimes you have to slow down pile three and i feel like you guys move too fast to the point that you might not feel like you have a lot of time in the day to yourself and this has affected how you feel day in and day out i feel like you guys have a job that depends largely on demand so when you so when work is booming for you you do not have a lot of time to stop and get present um i used to know somebody that they own a certain business where during the winter months, it's like very dead. But during the summer months, it's crazy. Like they barely had any time to sleep. <laughs> and so that's what I'm kind of picking up for you guys is like when the demand is there, it's like you're you're out there, you're getting the money, you're making, making do, you know, it's like you're really out there hitting the ground running. Like you're seriously hustling when you can get it. And so um, something about that she's saying where it's like she wants you to slow down a little bit more. So you don't have a lot of time to stop and get present when work is booming for you. You always have another responsibility on your schedule. So one huge message from Sekhmet to you guys is to meditate. She would like for you to do it daily if you can, but but definitely uh, do it more regularly. You'll know that that message is for you as well if you have ever meditated before and felt the biggest shift in your mind, body, and energy. Like you just felt different like on the inside there was just something about that session where it was just like what was that like it just felt so different for you and the world even looked different the reason that you were feeling depleted pile three another huge message coming through for you from her is because you don't have enough time to tend to your spiritual needs and your spirit body is screaming for time with you and as well as for time in the sun especially if some of you guys work indoors you need to get outside in the sunlight but also you need to start dedicating more time to your spirit body even if just for five minutes a day just kind of doing something where you reconnect to your spiritual essence that's something that's very important because when we don't do that it can literally feel like we're like a part of us is dying so let's see what sort of protective energy she has around my pile threes. Two. Let me see if these two are meant for you. Okay, this card wasn't meant for you. All right. So let's see what we have here. So very first card that we have is Thor's red, black, and gold. Dragon protects you in times of change. So this is a time of rapid transition and transformation. Relax. You are safe. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. All you have to do is just relax. And like I was saying, this is, this is kind of like... You guys are supposed to be like a plant. Sometimes you have to depot them and move them into a different area so they can get what they need. And this is just like a temporary thing sometimes, but th this is the thing. 
like it says right here with Thor's red, black, and gold dragon, it protects you in times of change. This is a time of rapid transition and transformation. But all you have to do is just relax. You're safe. Just breathe into this transition. You know, kind of take it one day at a time, one step at a time. But make sure that you are doing everything that you need to do to get what you need to get. Because there is a depletion here for sure with the sun in reverse. And so uh, we also have here lilac fire dragon transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment purity of heart brings peace hope and joy yeah and then we have here silver dragon illuminates your potential with higher light access untapped resources look into your soul see higher possibilities so there's some untapped resources as well that this nine of pentacles is talking about where it's saying like there's other ways for you to like let's just say that it is your job this card this dragon right here is also saying like there's other ways for you to make your money there's actually other ways for you to make even more money <laughs> but it's like you have to make this move you have to make this transition that you're very reluctant to make very very reluctant and then we have here air and water dragon helps you connect to higher frequencies trust your intuition develop your psychic abilities see this is what i was telling you guys it's time for you to to get back into your spirituality or to get more into spirituality because this is about developing your psychic abilities trusting your intuition being open to enlightenment and expressing your inner song this is really what she wants for my pile threes the most and then underneath the deck here we have water dragon helps you flow easily around obstacles see christ light and love are flowing develop your psychic abilities go with the flow again with develop your psychic abilities that's what she really really seriously wants for you guys something else that is coming up here is some of you guys took on a job some of you guys took on a job or a career or a profession where you didn't think it would be as difficult as it as it is or as it was and um the reason why you guys have a hard time retreating from it is because it's like I just started or I just took on this job and it's like you just don't want to give up. You do not want to give up. You don't want to be somebody that quit. But pile three, you're not someone that quit. It's just it's not working for you. There's a difference between quitting because it's like I just don't feel like it. And there's a difference between retreating because it's like I've tried everything that I can and it's just not working and I can't keep putting myself through this if it's not working you know um so the card that we have here from your angel says remember who you are archangel michael you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved remember who you are this is why segment is telling you guys to get back into your spirituality to get more regular with it because there's something here where you guys may have forgotten who you are you may have forgotten what you're supposed to do maybe it's the money that has sort of um blinded you or has kind of kept you away from spirituality because it's like i gotta get out there the demand is high right now i can make a lot of money you know i gotta make sure that i'm good for winter or good for summer good for the springtime or whatever and so um that that's really why she wants you guys to get back into your spirituality because you may have in a sense forgotten um what you're meant to do and why you're here you may have sort of been pulled into the matrix and pulled into this construct that tells you to hustle 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 because you got to make money you know and so this meditation getting back to your your spiritual practice practices will really help you to um reconnect back to your purpose which you should be doing and anytime you connect to your purpose you're going to connect to a plethora of abundance nine of pentacles energy and look prosperity energy what it says right here archangel ariel your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality your material needs are provided for this is what she's saying that's why i was saying you guys are like locked in this tug of war with the universe where the universe is like just trust me and you're like hell no i can't <laughs> like i gotta get it how i live i gotta get it while i'm here right now like this bag is good <laughs> so it's like you guys are like stuck in this tug of war but the second that you let go pile three you're walking directly into nine of pentacles energy and prosperity energy and it says underneath the deck here is sensitivity archangel haniel you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings so you guys may also be um sensitives too as well and let's get one final card here from the mother is set and i'm hearing i'm pulling a oracle card from a set because i don't have an oracle deck for segment so we're just going to hear from the set one final message all right and underneath the deck here we have lady of the stars priestess of sirius 
And the card that came out for you is Divine Sisterhood, Community of the Spiritual Sisters and Brothers of the Light. See, so she even wants you to get into a community where there's more spiritual people around you. She wants you to surround yourself with more spiritual people, more spiritual influences. Like I said, your whole reading is just about, <laughs> practically, it's just about her saying like, she wants you to get more spiritual because the more spiritual that you get, the more trusting that you're gonna be of your own intuition and the universe when it is guiding you in a situation or into a, a direction where it seems like why would I go in that direction that's the opposite direction of where I'm trying to get to or where I'm trying to go and it's like because that's the direction that you're meant to go in or that might even be like a shortcut to where it is that you're trying to go you know but you have to be able to trust and when we are in that state where it's like you know our kind of ninth house is suffering from the, our inability to have faith and to believe that these things can work out for us without us having to interject and get involved and control and dominate it can really affect our ability to get to where we're trying to go because your intuition ha is is guiding you where you are supposed to go your soul is guiding you where you're supposed to go is just not as loud as all this other stuff it's just not, our soul just isn't as loud as this construct it's not as loud as this fucked up matrix you know the matrix is a lot louder than our soul which is why we have to learn how to get quiet sometimes we have to learn how to get quiet and how to hear something else outside of this because when you're just listening to this this world will lead you astray but your soul never will you know and your soul's trying to look out for you and trying to show you a way where it's like hey we can get this back a lot easier you know <laughs> so it says okay divine sisterhood here so i'm gonna read this card um out of the book so just give me a second and it says here um, in community that is based in equality, respect, healthy boundaries, and personal freedom with the mutual desire for spiritual growth and honoring of innate wisdom, great miracles occur. You are part of this community of light. At one time, it existed only in the spiritual world, yet now it is being born on the earth. It is a part of your destiny to help create and nurture a conscious community that empowers all of its members and is based in truth. Beautiful. So pile number three. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. This is all that I'm seeing for you guys as far as uh, Sekhmet's encouraging message that she has for you today to get through your toughest challenges that you may be going through right now. Um, let me take this time to thank your guys, my guys, our higher self, amazing spirit, of course, Sekhmet for coming through today. Even Hathor, I see her here in a set. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye, guys. All right, and pile number four, welcome to your reading. So we are starting off with some oracle cards today to see what it is uh, that the Sekhmet, the Netter Sekhmet has to say to you in terms of encouraging words, love, guidance, and advice for your toughest challenges that you may be going through. After pulling uh, one of these oracle cards, just to see the energy surrounding your reading, I'm gonna be getting to your tarot cards and then pulling some additional oracle cards on camera. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, and the card that we have for you, Pile 4, is letting go. That's exactly the message <laughs> for you. And then underneath the deck here, we have grounding. Um, this there is, there is a need to accept. In your mind, you may be looking at it as though like accepting defeat, and it's not defeat, Pile 4. This is just about letting go, knowing when to let go, knowing when to detach, knowing when to surrender, knowing when to release. It's very important to know when to say goodbye um, because without that, we can cause a lot more harm than good. And so your message here is very, very clear. The energy surrounding your reading, surrounding you right now is the ability to let go, is the ability to understand that all things have an expiration date, all things end, even beautiful things. And so as difficult as that may be, that's something that she, that's a thing that she really wants you to focus on right now is being able to release, being able to let go, being able to have enough faith to know that if I let this go, it doesn't mean that this is just the end for me. You know that there is something better coming down the road. There's something that's more meant for you than what you are being told to let go of. And so it's just about being able to find that healthy medium and balance where you can trust in that. And so I think that that's going to be uh, probably the theme of your reading, but let's just 
hear from the cards themselves. So this card on the left will be showing me what challenges that you are currently facing that the uh, Netzer Sekhmet is witnessing in your life. And this card on the right will be showing me the message, the encouraging message that she has for you to get through that. So, um, so we have here the Fool in Reverse for your challenge card. Okay. All right, so pile four, you would really love a reset on your life um, or some part of it. That's funny. Um, this is like, this. there's a feeling, there's so many strong feelings coming from this full and reverse card right here. But there is this very strong feeling where it's like, you would really love this chance to start over, maybe be somewhere different. You really are struggling with wanting to change while being in the same environment around the same people in the same routine. You've really been craving a way to start over. A lot of you are ready to jump and just take the risk. You're ready to make that move without having the job yet or to take that job without having the home yet. You're ready to leave one situation without having the next situation figured out yet because that's how bad you want to leave or be done or get out of where you are currently at. I don't know if you guys' left ear has been ringing lately but I just got one very loud in my ear this has not happened in a pick a card reading in a while no actually it did just happen um in a patreon pick a card reading that I just recently posted but this one is like I, I haven't had one happen for like the general pick a card readings on YouTube in a long time and it just hit me so I don't know if you guys get ringing in your ears for me it just happened in my left ear very high pitch um, so that, that could be, if you are somebody that is connected to Sekhmet, that could just be uh, a sign that Sekhmet is just very near you. She maybe just stepped into your aura, um, maybe just stepped into your reading, reading as well. Um, but yeah. And is that even a cat on the, oh yeah, we've got a cat. Yeah. We've actually got a cat on this card. So yeah, that could definitely be a sign that, um, Sekhmet is just close to you if you hear that and you're somebody that's connected to her. You really want to get out of where you are currently at. Where you currently are feels like everything and everyone is stuck on a repeat or autopilot. Like wash, rinse, repeat, go to sleep, do it all over again. You feel so ready to live a different life in a new place, around different energy in a new space. You may have said before, something feels dead about this place that I'm currently in or this job or the situation or this relationship. Where I'm at just feels like nothing is happening and you are so eager and hungry to get out there. This is... This is what Sekhmet has not only been watching, but she's heard your thoughts and your strong desires about leaving, but not being able to do that right now. Um, Full Upright is naive because he doesn't know much about life in the world just yet. He's just doing without thinking. He learns to employ his mind and his sensibilities quite early on in his journey. So by the time he gets to the magician, he realizes I've got to be more cautious and I've got to be more careful and I've got to be more aware and more intentional. Now you pull the fool in reverse. So this is telling me that you are not struggling with a new beginning. You are struggling with not being able to set out on that new beginning right now or right when you want to. You're also struggling with being patient because you are not in this naive fool state anymore you have had this full moment before and so it's like um you've matured a lot since the last time that you made a drastic change to your life and your world you learned from that previous experience and you know that you have to do this the right way there's no other way to do this other than the right way to be more prepared right and so this is like full energy this is new beginning energy but without the naivety there this is full this is new beginning energy uh next chapter energy but it's like you are privy to what you need to be prepared now you're a lot more equipped now or you are preparing yourself you're currently gathering resources where it's like this is not going to be another full moment for me where i have to learn as i go you've already learned you've already done all that now you're just ready for the new beginning without all those you know attachments to being ignorant about this this new chapter or this next phase right and so and um don't let the word ignorant offend you or anything like that we're, we're all ignorant when it comes to things we've never experienced before and so that's what i'm saying you guys have already been through this full moment where you made a drastic change to your life and you didn't know what to expect you've already been there You've done that. So now you're aware. I want a new beginning again, but I want to be more prepared. So there's like a little asterisk next to your new beginning. And so um, 
yeah, you're just, you're willing to wait for the right time and the right moment. And Sekhmet has heard these conversations and the frustration behind you having to wait and having to do things the right way. And I'm wondering if you guys are having a Saturn return right now, or if it's transiting your first uh, fourth or fifth house because you guys want to say fuck it so bad but you just know better Saturn could also be transiting your second house as well because you guys just know better you're like no I can't do this without resources I can't do this without being prepared you, you guys just know you just know and let's see the message that she has for you guys we have here the eight of swords So this is very powerful. Um, Sekhmet is saying to you, you are not stuck and don't use this time that you have to wait to tell yourself that you are stuck. Don't use this time that you've been waiting to be frustrated. She's really pressing the fact that however much longer you have to wait, which is not long at all with the swords being here, she wants you to use this time wisely to get prepared like what you've been doing. She wants you to use every single day like it's your last day in this environment or the situation that you want out of so badly. She wants you to get organized and ready for this change because it's a really big one. It's just like she just doesn't, oh, oh shit pile four well guess what this is coming a lot faster than you expect because she literally just said she doesn't want you to get surprised when the green light comes on and you are able to make this transition a lot of my pile fours have a date in mind about when you're able you're going to be able to do something like maybe leave your job or start that business or um have a baby get married uh, move to a different country a different city a different area go back to school um you know whatever this is it's like you've got an idea in mind about when you're going to be able to do that and if it's not a specific date then it's more so like a guesstimate like oh maybe six months from now or like a year from now she's saying it won't take as long as you think it's going to take for you to be able to make the moves that you want to make for you to start over it's coming a lot faster than you think and this is why she's saying to you to stop using this time to be frustrated or upset or sad that it's not happening until six months or a year from now she's saying for some of you it's half the projected time that you think it's going to take which is why it's time to get to work and to make sure that you are ready for this transition to make sure that you have all the information money saved up things figured out she wants all your i's dotted and t's crossed because she she wants for you what you want for you like i said earlier you guys have matured from your last full moment where you did something without being prepared and so you know better now but the time that it has taken for you to be sufficient and prepared for this next chapter is quite a bit and you're still thinking that that you have a ways to go but pile for it you don't for some of you she's saying it is half the time you think it's going to take so get ready for that let's look into the protective energy that she has around you guys let's look first cards that come out is we have golden crested dragon brings you higher love so that you embody the christ light absorb the christ light you are protected exactly expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional yeah don't worry about this you're protected nothing's gonna go wrong then we have your golden solar dragon helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom wow wow that's powerful it says let your dna be reprogrammed and light codes activated become an inspired leader yeah, you guys are definitely in your leader energy with this full card right here. You're totally in your leader energy. Let me see if these two cards are meant for you. Yeah, they are. Okay, so we have here Black Dragon from Saturn. I What did I ask you guys? I asked you guys if you were going through your Saturn return. And we, yeah, so some of you are definitely going through your Saturn return or are about to or are just kind of, kind of coming out of it. But it says here, this brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. This is, this is, yeah, this is what you guys are going through right now is discipline. You're really learning how to be a lot more self-sufficient and really take care of yourself so that you can start this next chapter, this new beginning with a lot more resources and a lot more preparation. So it says constant, constant concentrate focus on your ultimate vision congratulate yourself you have passed a test pile four you've passed a test because you guys could have just jumped out there and been impulsive but you didn't and that's what you guys are being rewarded for then it says here Kuan Yin's pink dragon so some of you guys as well pile four you may be very closely connected to Kuan Yin or she may be a guide of yours ahead um 
guide of yours and it says here brings firm love that resets your karmic balance see all your cords dissolved by transcendent love enjoy your freedom look for the divine around you and the interesting thing the very first card that we had come out for you guys is what letting go and it says here see all your cords dissolved by transcendent love enjoy your freedom look for the divine around you and underneath the deck here we have aquamarine dragon from neptune okay you guys got a lot going on we got neptune saturn Quan yin <laughs> and so it says here enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom spirituality and wisdom are available to you develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge well you guys have already really developed that wisdom there's a lot of maturity with you guys that you have formulated over the time especially since your last full moment because it's like you guys could have made a really impulsive decision and just jumped out there and just been like let me just trust in god and see what the hell happens <laughs> like, you guys did not do that you guys were like nope nope -uh. no i'm gonna do this the right way let's get some messages from your angels okay so you have three come out so we have here gifts from god look archangel sanophon we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive okay so again this is just confirmation this is going to be happening faster than some of you expect then we have here healthy lifestyle eat a archangel raphael eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health so this is just something that's going to kind of help you guys as health because you guys may just be going through a moment of discipline just a just this is like uh something to do with like your discipline especially with this saturn energy here because it's like you guys are learning how to not be impulsive, how not to just jump and make rash decisions. You guys are learning how to be more prepared, more equipped, more ready. And so that discipline, it may sort of spill into other areas of your life, like being more disciplined when it comes to your sleep and your diet and your exercise and things like that. So then we also have here the card, look, patience. This is what we were talking about your whole reading. You guys just having to wait for the right moment. And it says, Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Okay, this is, again, confirmation that Sekhmet said for uh, some of my pile fours, a lot of you guys, this is going to happen in half the time that you think it's going to take. And then underneath the deck here, we have teaching and learning. Archangel Zadkiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to, other, to others. So you guys, what's really funny about this is the fact that it's taken all this preparation for you guys to get to where you're trying to get to. This is actually going to be something where it's like you can help, ex you know, extend this advice to someone else. You can tell someone else that may be going through the same thing in the future where they're like, I really want to do this. I really want to do that. You know, like, um, I really want to just kind of quit my job and start a business and it's like you've already been there and done that you you've quit your job before you dropped out of school and started your business just an example right and so it's like the reason why you're going through a lot of this too is to help other people in the future that are going to be in a similar predicament or like dilemma as you are right now but it won't be for much longer you guys you guys have already passed the test you've already passed the test this is a this is a time for like congrat congratulations. You guys should really be like celebrating. Go out and get some drinks tonight. Like get excited because this is it's not gonna take very long. And let's get one final message here from a set. Well, don't go get drinks if you're underage, you guys. <laughs> and so it says here, wings of Isis uniting with the angelic self. This card came out, but let me make sure this is your card. Yes, it is. Okay, and then underneath the deck here we have Cartouche, Divine Names of Power. So give me a second. I'm going to read this card out of the book. And so what it says here with Wings of Isis is it says you have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic world. Part of your soul's purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into this human culture. This oracle brings you angelic assistance and intervention and confirmation that any impressions that you have had that you belong not only to the human kingdom, but also to the angelic one are correct. And so there's definitely um, an angels around you as well angels around your situation and this is another reason why you're not jumping because it's like you just they're the, your angels like they said they're teaching they're teaching you a lot of things and you're learning a lot of things because later on you're supposed to be able to to teach these things possibly to other people so your angels are also very connected to the situation as well but honestly pile four just get excited get ready because it's happening a lot sooner than you think and so this is 
beautiful, beautiful news for you guys. But thank you so very much for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guys, my guys, our higher self, amazing spirit, of course, Sekhmet for coming through, your angels, your guides for coming through and um, delivering these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye, guys.